So I have here what's left of my Schumburke to Vicinus. Oh Lord, look who wanted to say hello. Heidi. Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is this? Say hello. Oh my goodness. Well, she decided to uh, photobomb my video here, but <laughs> what I was going to say was that I'm going to take this as a learning experience um, and actually kind of just dissect this orchid and see what it looks like inside. Um, this orchid provides shelter for ants and in, terms, in turn ants provide the defense for the orchid in many, in many aspects. So you can see here the roots look like they were like they were in good condition, but upon further inspection, they're actually um, kind of mushy. They're just firm and mushy. So I think this actually got a virus. I don't know. But what can I do? Might as well learn from it. So what I'm going to do is there's the hole where the ants would go in. It's hollow. These are hollow. So there's a hole. I already started cutting a little bit, but before I did that, I thought, well, let me make a video and show you guys. So I'm actually going to cut this open. We're going to take a look together and see what it looks like inside. And that's pretty much would be the end of the video. I just want to show you guys what's inside this hollow Schumbergia. So bear with me for just one moment while I pause the video and cut this guy. Hey guys, I'm back. So um, this actually kind of reminded me of like a jalapeno, like I was making some sort of a salsa or something else. So I just went ahead and cut off the base of the orchid. Here's the roots. So there's what the root structure looks like from the inside. I should probably dissect that a little bit more just to see how the roots really um, grow from this orchid. There's the base. So I used a really sharp uh, paring knife and here's the inside of this Schumbergia. As you can see it's hollow. It really does remind you of a jalapeno. Minus the seeds. It's got kind of a um, just like a woody smell to it. Yes, I did smell it. And there's deep inside the orchid. You can see that the, the inner part of the orchid would make a really good home for ants. It is almost woody in nature. It's really unusual that it's so dry in the inside of the orchid. But the fleshy part, if it'll focus, the fleshy part is quite firm and moist. So, yep, that's basically my Schomburgia tibicinus from the inside out. So that's all for this video. I thought you'd get a kick out of looking at inside of here because I'm pretty inquisitive when it comes to uh, plants and just anything in general. I always like to see how things work. Um, I may further examine this by just maybe cutting off the tip and see what's, see what's growing in there where the um, leaves grew and where a spike eventually would have come from and maybe just see what the structure looks like and i may do the same to this and why just for fun anywho if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more i'm not going to do more of these i don't plan on cutting up all my orchids if if that's not what i meant <laughs> so uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more orchid videos uh, subscribe to my channel or uh, suggest any um, or just put some suggestions in the comments below but until then happy growing and happy dissecting I should say and Heidi wants to say bye say bye say bye to everyone now she has her little piggy oh my goodness you're so cute oh my goodness oh my goodness all right guys that's it for me have a great weekend